Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to install this 24 volt, 5 kilowatt Tesla battery module. I want to have this neatly tucked away underneath the van. To do that, we'll need a steel battery box. So let's get to work on that. See here that I've bolted some angle iron to the body to support one side of the battery. There are only bolts at the front and rear 
because it's such a tight fit that there's no room for the other side of the bolts along the battery box itself. That's also why I had to use carriage bolts here. There's no room for the bolt heads up top. Let's go ahead and get that bracket mounted. Now, I picked up some running boards for the van, but we've taken up the space where running board mounts would normally go. The solution I came up with was to extend the bracket out from under the van to also support the running board. These vibration dampeners came from a salvaged military server enclosure. Since the servers were about the same weight as the battery, I think this should work well. The body mounted side doesn't need this since there's already a dampener between the frame and body. It may look like the battery is touching the frame, but there's actually a slight separation there. Right now I'm hooking up the communication wires that run up that PVC pipe along with the battery cables. There is a fuse inside the box in case these cables short somehow. I'm not sure how that would happen, but just in case. I will get everything sealed up around this box so no water can get in and damage the battery. I'm going to wait until I'm sure everything's right first though. I've already got most of the solar and other electrical components installed. I have to make that another video though. It'll be out in a few days or at least by next Sunday. I was really surprised that there's not more interest in the free part of this van build. In case you are interested in that though, I'll go over how much we spent and what we sold in the next video too. So take care and we'll see you then. Mm -hmm.